In DesignX, you can control the display of your mesh and your CAD using those two functions right here, the display of meshes and the display of CAD. Here, if I go to the display of meshes, I can display it as points, so I can see the endpoints of the mesh. I can display it also as wireframe, so you can see the structure of the mesh. Then you can switch to shaded, and you can see the shaded mesh, also shaded with edges. So here you see both the structure and the shade. And then you can continue with here the curvature. You can see the curvature of the curvature of the cloud. If you have regions on the part, you can see different regions. And if you want to see the regions attribution, so what kind of regions you got, you can display the color of region. Everything which is blue here is a plane. Everything which is orange is an axis, either a cylinder, a revolution, or a torus. And here you can see what you got in kind of topology. Then you can also display your CAD by displaying the CAD as wireframe, wireframe with hidden edges. Uh, and then you can continue with shaded display and shaded display with edges, which is the default. Then you can also control the zoom. So here it's going to be with view and zoom here. And you have the view area or you can drag a view area or you can still go to view and zoom and preview zoom area. You can control also the display of your part using still the top menu here by selecting the type of view you would like to have, the top view, the bottom view, left, right, uh, and, uh, and, and, and all the type of view you would like to have. When you make a view afterwards, you can turn the view 90 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise here, or flip the view. The other useful feature here is to make it normal too, and just if you didn't select anything before, just click the feature. Uh, you want to be normal too. If the feature is not planar, you can still use on the cylinder like that, and the software shows you the direction it will use. Then it's also possible to make a clip view. So if you go to the display here on the right, you can select at the bottom here the view clip and set the view clip. So here you have different type of view clip. The first one is below plane, so you can move the plane down and and hide what's above the plane. You can still turn it in any direction you would like to have, or you can constrain it in plane option and tell the software you want to have a plane in Z direction or Y direction or in the view alignment. But if I put to Z, I got my plane, or if I would put it on, maybe I would put it on Y and ask the software not to make it on the one plane, but two planes, between two planes, it creates a second plane which is parallel to the first one, and then you can make this type of view clip. Of course, if you turn it, everything is synchronized like that. The last option is to go inside box, and then here you can select the box and shrink it like that. Of course, when you press apply or OK to the function, the view clip is still applied. You can anyway go to view clip and activate or deactivate it and activate it again, it remembers the parameters.